The story begins with a magician named Varvados, who is very strong and invincible, makes him occupy the peak of power. However, because of his abilities, no one remembers that Varvados is a human. The people call him the Demon King. Feeling suffocated by loneliness, he goes to a room where there is a woman's body lying stiffly there. While looking at her, Varvatos decides to reincarnate as an ordinary villager. Far into the future, Varvatos is reborn and reincarnated into a boy named Ard Meteor. Ard has extraordinary abilities that make him grow rapidly, but he still expects a safe and peace ordinary life. On his tenth birthday, Ard's parents asked his purpose in life. Ard says he wants to form friendships. However, due to his lonely past life as a Varvatos, Ard doesn't have the ability to build relationships and instead makes the other kids run away in fear. Ard vents his frustrations in the woods and sits alone on his doorstep when Mayor Olhide comes to comfort him and give him advice to be friendly with others. Olhide wants to ask Ard something, but because Ard is too enthusiastic to practice Olhide's advice, he has run to find other children, leaving Olhide alone with his parents. Olhide tells Ard's parents about the condition of their son, who withdraws from everyone because of his background. On the other hand, Ard encounters children who initially avoid him. But after Ard acts friendly to them, the children still avoid him. Frustrated by his situation, Ard finally vents out his frustration on the forest. Just then, he hears a girl's voice screaming. Ard then goes to see the girl. After searching for her, Ard finds a little girl fighting a monster. Seeing the girl, he remembers and calls out a name, Lydia. The girl manages to finish off the monster. Ard comes to praise her and approach the girl to ask her to be his friend, but he is rebuffed. The girl runs towards the village and hugs Olhide, her father. Ard comes home and calls for Olhide because his advice doesn't work, but is surprised to find the girl hugging Olhide. After that, Ard goes on to follow Irina, Olhide's daughter. Irina always refuses Ard's invitation to be his friends until one day, the village is suddenly attacked by the monsters, causing all villagers to run away in fear. Ard's father ambushes the monsters. Ard wants to help when suddenly Olhide comes and asks for help to find Irina who has not returned yet. Feeling guilty, Ard goes to search for Irina with his magic. Ard's father and Olhide are shocked to see his magic. In the forest, Irina is surrounded by swarms of ogres. A desperate Irina gave herself up to the ogre. As the ogre are about to be killed, Ard comes to save him. Ard finishes off the ogres with his magic. Ard is still trying to make friends with Irina, but she still refuses it because she was once betrayed by her close friend, causing her to feel lonely more than anyone else. Ard understands and promises not to betray her forever in the name of Demon King Varvatos. Sometime later, their relationship is getting better. That day, Irina comes to wake up Ard, who is still sleeping. Ard is surprised by her presence in the boys' room and feels uncomfortable about it, but Irina doesn't buy it. She then invites Ard to join her studying magic at the Academy of Magic. Ard and Irina then head to meet the principal of the Academy Gold. They are welcomed warmly because of their family background, which the legendary three heroes. Also thanks to their achievement a few years ago that managed to save the village by exterminating the monsters, Gold passes them from the practice exam to only have to pass the written test which they also pass it although Ard gets a zero mark. It is because his answer doesn't fit with the ideology of the time, but he goes beyond it and wins praise in front of the students. Arriving at the class, they are surrounded by the students who want to make friends because of their family background. At that time, Ard is surprised by the bullying of several students towards a girl. As he is about to stop her, Irina comes forward and asks Eraldo, the bully, who is actually the son of the Duke, to apologize to the girl he bullied, who is a servant of his family, the son of a count named Ginny. However, their family background is still not comparable to Eraldo, who is a Duke's family. Hence, Eraldo challenges Ard to a duel. Just then, Olivia Sama, who is one of the generals of Demon Lord Varvatos, appears as their instructor. Ard is worried that Olivia will recognize his past identity. Olivia allows them to duel with her as the referee. Eraldo first launches his attacks, but Ard defends without casting a spell. Eraldo tries again to attack Ard using Mega Flares making Ard a little confused but still holding out. Eraldo launches his last attack using Giga Flares, which annoys Ard because of the glorified use of ordinary magic. Ard then do cast two spells showing a Giga Flare while protecting Eraldo. Eraldo admits defeat, but Olivia is getting suspicious of Ard being able to use what she calls by a lost skill. 
The following day, Olivia starts to officially teach the class and breaks the students into grooves. Irina then invites Jeannie to join them. At the site of the class assignment, Olivia instructs the students to go to the dungeon's third floor and hunt and skin a black wolf. Eventually, the group encounters a pack of black wolves, and Irina and Ar deal with them with a flare spell. Ginny apologizes for being useless and how Elrado berates her for her incompetence. To help Ginny gain some confidence, Art offers Ginny some personal magic lessons. Ginny agrees to the offer, and they immediately start, but Ginny fails to compare with Art's magical skill. Although Art tries to cheer Ginny up, her self-confidence was destroyed by the harassment she experienced by Elrado and his cohorts. So Art then displays a new kind of magic that he created called script magic, and then proceeds to teach it to both Irina and Ginny. Soon, Ginny is shown to have mastered the magical technique, and then the trio falls into a trapdoor leading them to a level where they encounter a minotaur. Taking advantage of the situation, Art uses the encounter as a way to further teach the two about script magic and allows Ginny to defeat the monster. After that, the group returns to the classroom and turn in the horns of the minotaur they defeated. Elrado then berates Ard for what he considers relaying on the girls too much, and Ginny speaks in Ard's defense, and then smacks him aside while Irina also humiliates him by putting a basket of black wolf pelt over his head. Amused by what happened, Ard tries to leave, but he is stopped by Olivia. Olivia then takes him to meet Gold, the principal of the academy. Gold with Olivia asks Ard to participate in the student battle event as an opportunity for the school to get a bigger budget. Art initially refuses it as he still thinks of his identity might be exposed, but he claims he'll think the offer over and later contemplates the consequences of refusing the offer. Just then, Ginny approaches Art and asks to go on a date with her. Just then, Irina barges into the scene and wants to be a part of the date, and Ginny happily accepts noting she doesn't want to monopolize Art. Ginny also suggests that Art start his own harem. After school, they went on a date and decided to watch the Orthodox Theater featuring the story of the Demon King Varvados with his crush, Lydia. While in the middle of the performance, Ginny embraces Art's hand and accidentally activates her natural ability as a succubus which could even affect Art. Art is perplexed with the play as it doesn't match reality, especially about how Lydia behaves. Finished watching the play, Ginny is about to take them somewhere, but Art stops as he hears a mysterious group talking about eliminating the Queen. They follow the group, but they are trapped. Ard finds out it is just a trap after he spots the magic circle on the wall, and they get surrounded by the group a second later. Ard is able to fight the group leaving only the leader, who then transforms into his true demon form and flies out. Ard pursues him, flying, making Irina and Ginny surprised by Ard's ability to fly. Outside, Ard attacks the demon witnessed by the villagers. After the demon vanished, the villagers thanks and praises him. The next day, they are summoned before the Queen. Ard feels confused how he should face the Queen, but immediately Irina casually calls the Queen because they were close friends when they were little. Because of his hard work, the Queen offers Ard to be her husband but is strongly refused by Irina and agreed by Ginny on the condition that the Queen must enter Ard's harem. Ard thinks of how he could take advantage of the situation to increase the Academy's budget so he wouldn't have to participate in the battle event. The Queen is impressed with Ard's thoughts, and then awards them with an increase in the Academy's budget and promotes both Irina and Ard to Pentagon class, a five-star wizard. Meanwhile, Ginny is also granted the Triangle class, a three-star wizard as a prize. On the other hand, the group that wanted to frame Ard and the others the other day gathers because their real purpose is for entertainment and to measure the strength of the Pentagon. The scene shifts to Irina, who sees Ard receives a love confession, but instead of rejecting her, Ard offers friendship to the girl, which makes Irina angry. Gold tells Jessica about his wish to make Ard a teacher at the academy, but many noble teachers were against it. Therefore, Gold asked Ard to join the battle event to prove his worth, but was refused. Jessica steps in to get over it. Ard is thinking about how to make up with Irina, when suddenly Ginny comes wearing a nightgown intending to spend the night with Ard. On the other hand, Irina regrets what she had done and means to make up with Ard. At Ard's room, Ginny starts to tease Ard with her demonized enchantment of succubus skills that even Ard cannot resist, but suddenly Irina comes wearing a nightgown and separates Ginny from Ard. They fight and even decide to duel over Ard, but is stopped by Ard. Jessica comes, offering to take part in the battle event and win the rights and make him a teacher.
Irina and Ginny almost refuse it because Art teaches power not to show off, but to protect. Jessica then says that a teacher will wear a cool uniform which makes Irina and Ginny want to see Ard in a teacher's uniform. They finally agree to take part in the battle event. The battle event starts with great fanfare. The judges and commentators are Ard's parents, meteor couple, and Irina's father, Baron Oled. Ard as the teacher of Irina and Ginny prays his two students unscathed and watches them from the spectator seat with Olivia Sama. Irina appears nervous, but when she sees Ard praying, she gets excited again, and win followed by Ginny, which also win her battle. Both of them finally meet to fight each other as opponents at the end of the match. The fight is about to start when Ard suddenly realizes something when some of the spectators turn into demons. Ard, Olivia Sama, Jessica, as well as Ard's parents and Baron Olhide, split up to deal with this, and before moving away, Ard slightly notices Jessica's departure. Irina and Ginny fight the demons together until they are pushed back, but they are then saved by Baron Olhide. Irina is proud of her father, but suddenly Jessica stabs Olhide with her bare hands. She reveals her true identity as the frenzied king of dragons, Elzard. It turns out she did this to catch Irina. Ginny rebels against her and tells Irina to leave, but is immediately knocked out by Elzard. Irina, who sees Ginny lying down, decides to obey Elzard's will for Ginny's sake. Olhide wakes up after receiving treatment and is told that Irina was taken away by the frenzied king of dragons, Elzard. Ard is determined to bring back Irina. Hearing that, Olhide gives him access to the royal treasury. Jack asks Olhide why he's hiding his and Irina's identity from Ard. Olhide explains that he doesn't want Irina to lose her only friend, Ard, if he knows their background. Irina, who is caught by Elzard, is left unconscious and has a dream that Ard left her after she tells him her true identity. After she wakes up, she is involved in arguments with Elzard and figures out Elzard's goal, which is to destroy the world by using Irina as a sacrifice for the Orphan of Chaos. As Irina is about to be sacrificed, Ard comes for her. Ard attacks with a nine cast, making Elzard eager to fight him. Elzard reveals that Irina's surname Olhide is fake and that her real one is Lavil, and she carries the blood of the evil gods. People with the blood of an evil god will become the target of hatred in the demon Lord Varvedo's world. But Ard doesn't care one bit about it and stays by Irina's side, because Irina's existence is not because of her background. Ard defends with Irina from Elzard's attacks with the spear he brought from the royal treasury, as it can parry Elzard's attacks. Ard realizes Elzard fights carelessly and overly confident that she would not die. Hence, one attack from Ard easily sends Elzard flying away. As it turns out, Elzard is still alive and fully transforms into her full dragon form. She then breathes a purple laser spell against Ard, who defends against it with his magical barrier. After asking Irina to look away, Ard casts a spell that summons a golden lady who recasts a gold-colored magical barrier. The lady, as it turns out, was Lydia Begins Gate and under Weiss' command transforms into a broad sword that is used to help him during the first phase of the battle. Elzard provokes Ard that Irina will fear him and ends up dying lonely. But moments after Irina's cheering screams makes Ard realizes that he is no longer alone. Ard then did the second phase and transforms into the second demon hero form and activates Magic Ezzler. Ard and Elzard attack each other until suddenly they cast each other's best spell. Ard with the help of Lydia casts the spell Ultimatum Zero and eliminates Elzard. Afterwards, Ard thanks Lydia and tells her to return to his soul. Ard and Irina return home, but after seeing Ard's abilities, Irina feels even more inferior, but she is determined to become stronger so she can be with Ard. The scene shifts to a girl named Sylphie Marheaven, who appears after locked herself in the Dujin for a long time, and is shocked by the change that is happening around her. She encounters a masked man which informs her that she has been in the dungeon for 3,000 years. The man claims to be an old friend who used to serve the demon Lord Varvatos along with Sylphie and Lydia. The man says that Varvatos had died but reincarnated into a person named Ard Meteor. With his past memories so she would easily find out about Lydia's whereabout if she asks him directly. Ard, Irina, and Ginny were informed that Lyville National Academy of Magic will be holding a school festival to coincide with the school's 100-year anniversary. There will be sword tournament as well as a play. Besides that, there is a threatening letter written on human skin as a warning. Hence, Ard is assigned to guard the school ground and take part in a play. Afterward, Ard is confronted by a livid Sylphie, who approaches Ard and demands to know why he reincarnated and the whereabouts of Lydia. 
Irina intervenes and offers to duel her in Ard's place. Seeing Lydia in Irina, Sylphie asks who she is, and Irina answers that she's Ard's friend. Sylphie then asks to be her friend, and Irina flatly refuses, so Sylphie accepts the duel conditions, and Olivia allows it. Due to being coerced into fighting the duel, Ard agrees to duel against Sylphie. Ard intends to fight in earnest and then loses, but as Sylphie continues to provoke him, he makes a fight and accidentally wins. While refusing to admit defeat, Sylphie casts Demise Argus, summoning a magic sword out of thin air. Using the blade, Sylphie casts Velstena Alvides, but Ard manages to protect himself from the spell with a magical barrier. Before she was able to cast another, Olivia stopped her and chastises her for the harm and damage that she's done to the students in school. Irina also reprimands her, and while interacting with Irina and Sylphie, Ard thinks back to Lydia. The scene then shifts to Ard, who is leading the discussion for a play, but is stopped due to the commotion outside caused by Sylphie, and some students from class A students from class, who are nobles discriminate against other students just because of their status as commoners. Irina defends and files for fair competition. They return to discuss the play, where the main role of the Demon King will be played by Ard. Lydia is played by Irina and Sylphie volunteers to play the evil god. After that, they discuss about the theme of the event they will be hosting. Ginny proposes to hold a maid cafe with her succubus instinct, and after the debate, it is finally mutually agreed. Unbeknownst to them, they are being observed by the masked man who talked to Sylphie back in the city. Ard and Irina attend the school festival under the guise of a couple, but in reality, they are patrolling it because of a threat. At that time, there is a commotion caused by Sylphie during the patrol, which resulted in her being spared from the patrol by Olivia Sama. Ard then finds a tree that was rumored to have items sealed beneath it. Irina chimes in that even her father doesn't know what that item is, whereas Olivia couldn't tell them either. Olivia Sama tells Ard that she has registered him in the sword battle tournament and is looking forward to their next fight. Ard goes to check out the maid cave initiated by Dinny. Once again, Sylphie is acting up to attack customers. When entering the cafe, Ard is greeted by all the maids like their masters. They even fight over each other to serve Ard until Irina comes in and intends to monopolize him and forbids anyone else to serve him. An argument starts between Guinea, the rest of the maids, and Sylphie. Just then, an announcement is heard, explaining that the sword tournament will start tomorrow with the grand prize is a replica of the holy sword, Vald Galgus. Irina announces that she will enter the tournament along with Ard. Ginny proclaims she'll enter it too, and all that's on Sylphie's mind is the holy sword, Vald Galgus, her sister's sword. Olivia Sama, Ard, Irina, Ginny, and Sylphie win all the way to the final tournament. Irina and Sylphie goes to help at the cafe, while Ginny invites Ard to see and take part in a beauty contest. There, Ard sees Eraldo, who has changed. Eraldo has done some self-reflection. He says that his arrogant attitude was the result of upbringing from his father, which made Eraldo vent out his frustration on Ginny and always bullied her. Eraldo hopes that one day he can sincerely apologize to Ginny, and he leaves after that. At the end, Ard and Ginny win the contest. On the sword battle tournament, the fight starts when Ard faces Olivia Sama. He thinks of all kinds of ways to lose without being caught, but accidentally uses his barrier magic to throw Olivia far out which disqualified them. The final battle is held between Irina and Ginny, who while fighting they bicker over Ard, until finally Irina wins the battle. Irina reiterates that only she could be by Ard's side, but Ginny still denies it. From afar, a masked figure who met Sylphie at that time was watching them. The scene switches to the play that will begin soon. Irina, who plays Lydia, feels nervous that it worries Ard. As the play goes on, Ard is embarrassed to speak his lines which playing himself, the Demon King Varvatos. Ard remembers his pastime during the Battle of Avia de Saviers. At that time, he was with troops also with Lydia and Sylphie, attacked the enemy commander. Sylphie was prevented from participating by Lydia and Varvados allowed her to do whatever she wanted and Varvados would be responsible for her. When facing the enemy commander who used the sword Demise Arcus, suddenly a magic trap appeared which paralyzed the enemy troops and their commander which turns out to be Sylphie's snake. However, Sylphie placed traps all over the battlefield without remembering the position so that the traps also hit his own troops, even though they didn't cause any casualties. The play is over. Just then, Sylphie spots the silhouette of a person who looked like Lydia, and she goes to chase her. She then meets the masked man who later gives her a vision where Varvados killed Lydia.
It makes Silphy angry, incited, and consumed by his words. Silphy then goes to Mizard, who is with Ginny. She says she will win the sword battle tournament and asks him to meet her at the large tree. Ginny thinks Ard will receive love confession from Silphy. Finally, the final battle of the sword tournament between Silphy and Irina starts, but it ends quickly and is won by Silphy. As a result, she obtains the grand prize, the replica of the Vald Galgus sword. Later, Silphy meets Ard. She carries the sword while Irina and Ginny hide while watching them. Silphy expresses her desire to kill Ard by combining the replica of Vald Galgus, which turns out the real sword, and its core, which is sealed under the tree. She also summons Demise Argus and fight using both the swords to kill Ard. The masked man smiles while seeing the scene before him. As she thinks she has killed Ard, Silphy turns to fight Ginny and Irina, who attempt to bring her back. Ard returns with his true form, Varbitos, which makes Silphy even angrier at him. Ard tries to bring her back, but he fails. Suddenly, Lydia's voice is heard through the Vald Galgus. Disappointed, the masked man appears and makes Silphy lose her conscious. He then uses the both swords to attack Ard to activate the master. However, both the swords repel him. Ard then picks up the Demise Argus and attacks the masked man, sends him flying away. After that, the figure of Lydia appears. She goes to meet Silphy and says that her death was not Varvidos's fault. Lydia goes on to ask Lydia to enjoy her life and says they will meet again someday. Scene shifts to Ard and other students en route to their school trip destination. On the way, the carriage is suddenly bumped, and the time freezes for a while. Everyone is freeze except Ard, Irina, and Ginny, who seem not to get affected. They suddenly fall into an abyss and meet a young boy who claims as a god. The boy says that the demon lord would meet someone, in which one of them will die and decide the world continuity. The boy wishes he will alive while setting his gaze upon Ard, and disappears after that. They then awaken and Ard realizes they have been taken into the ancient past during Varvito's ruling period. Noting in the past, there were once two moons. Suddenly, they are surprised by the sight of the woman being chased by a death stinger. Ard quickly deals with the monster, rescuing the woman. After that, Olivia appears and approaches them. She thanks them for saving her subordinate. Olivia then tests the trio by exuding some energy. All but Ard faint from it. Impressed with his ability, Olivia then asks him to join Varvados' force. Ard accepts her offer on two conditions, in which Irina and Ginny will also join the force, and that they will be under the command of Verdi, meaning that they will only fight in the back line. They finally agreed. Ard, Irina, and Ginny joined Verdi's faction with Olivia's recommendation. Arriving at Verdi's research center, an accident occurred and destroyed the lab, and an eccentric blonde girl appears. Irina and Ginny are accidentally rude to meet a Verde without knowing that the blonde girl is actually Verde. Ard then explains to Verde that they are from the future. That fact makes Verde enthusiastic and wants to help them return to their time. Suddenly, Silphy breaks into the room, chasing Verde followed by the legendary hero, Lydia, that surprised Ard. Lydia is attracted to Ginny and abuses her but is prevented by Ard. Lydia, who is angry, then asks Ard to fight. The battle between the two lasts fierce until dusk, and the results is even. Before R can leave, Lydia stops him and asks that he and the others join her on the front lines. R then asks Lydia to meet him with Varvados, but Lydia says that Varvados only looks to those who have achievements. Heading to the battle, they rest in a house. Ginny enjoys a bath and is soon joined by an amorous Lydia. Once the battle starts, Ard's group handles the supplies and is ambushed by a small group of enemies who seek to destroy their army's supplies. On the battlefield, Lydia at the front line doubts as the fighting is easy, but is surprised when they receive reports that the enemy generals are attacking the rear. Lydia rushes to where Ard and the others are, but by that time the enemy general has been knocked over by Ard. Seeing this, Lydia then meets them with Varvados and immediately causing Silphy in jealousy. Ginny and Irina admire Varvados' castle, and when they arrive, they are attacked by Alvarto but is parried by Ard. Lydia rebukes Alvarto and Varvados then appears to meet them. Irina and Ginny are fascinated by Varvados, to the point that Ard is a little jealous of it. Varvados welcomes Ard, Ginny, and Irina. They address Varvados as a demon king, making Varvados confused as he is not a demon king at that time. Returning to Verdi's laboratory, they dicus about the matter. Verdi expresses her opinion that Ard's group's history is different from her dimensions, that the demon lord is also different. 
Ginny suggests to tell Varvatos that they are from the future. Hence, Art is excited to gain more feet, and is willing to join Lydia on the front lines to face off against Mavilas, the Cursed King. Art recalls that Mevilus is the reason why he killed Lydia in his previous life. As they arrive at the fort, they are shocked to find that Mevilus has been murdered. Mevilus' severed head flies out from the fortress, headed by the figure in black armor who claims to be the Demon Lord. Later, he declares war on Varvatos and then disappears. Returning to Lydia's mansion, Art goes into his room. Thinking about what happened, suddenly the Demon Lord appears. He then reveals his identity who is actually the adult Ard from the future. The adult adult has gained many achievements, but also lost everything, and he changed his name into Disaster Rouge. Furthermore, he reveals that he too was sent to that era by the Nameless God, and his goal is to destroy the world and fight against Varvados. He says he intends to save Lydia from her fated demise and hopes that Ard joins him in his cause. Art is tempted by his proposal, but Art's hand faltered when Lydia's voice whispers to him. Adult Art then gives him three days to think it over and disappears. Art goes on to eat with others. Ginny notices something is up on Art, but he is hiding it. Lydia invites Art to go out to enjoy a day with her. Lydia then takes Art to a ruined place that ghosts inhabit, and she confesses that not only demons, but ordinary folk used to inhabit the area. To her admission, Lydia considers herself a murderer for what she's done and laments her actions that led to it. Lydia then notes her resolve to die after eliminating the threat to humanity to ensure a safe and prosperous future for them. Therefore, she asks Ard not to change the way she died. Returning home, Lydia gives Irina and Ginny gifts and invites Ard to join her for a drink. On the day of the war, Ard asks Lydia to excuse him from the battle. Ard hurries up to meet Disaster Rouge to give him his answer that he refuses his proposal. As a result, they then fight against each other, but they are equally strong because they use almost the same magic until Disaster Rouge tells Art his reason of inviting him to meet up at the first day of the war. The scene moves to Irina and Ginny. Both Irina and Ginny are disappointed that they are left behind by Art so he could fight on the battlefield. Just then, Latima approaches them, carrying a message from Art. It informs that Ard gives them chance to take part in the battlefield. On tier way to the battlefield, Latima explains their goal, in which they will break into the Demon Lord's castle. Furthermore, Latima reveals that Ard has figured out that the Demon Lord is using a vessel to keep himself immortal, and has found a way to destroy the vessel. Suddenly, they are attacked by a hidden assailant. Latima protects them and tells them to continue the mission. Meanwhile, on the battlefield, Verde fights with all her might, as well as the other generals, defeating the enemy forces efficiently. Sylphie also has her hands on the enemy while searching for her sister. Returning to Irina and Ginny, they finally find the vessel. As they are about to destroy it, they are caught in a trap that is actually set up by Latima. Ard, who sees that is worried. Disaster Rouge then bargains with Ard, claiming if he joins him, he will spare his friends and the others. Returning to Latima, she reveals she did this for the sake of Lydia. Irina and Ginny attacks Latima with their magic. Latima fights them back by summoning demons. However, as Latima is about to attack them, Lydia arrives. She reveals that she has been observing their movement through the hairpin she gave them as a tracking device. Lydia then asks Latima to surrender, but she goes on summoning more demons. Lydia defeats the demon easily. She fights the demon's army while saying that she is ready to accept the fate upon herself and intends to create a peaceful world where everyone can smile because she wants to live and die as a hero. Lydia goes on and destroys the demon lord's vessel. Disaster Rogue is displeased. Ard tells him that he was too concerned with his ego without thinking about others. Disaster Rogue then releases his power, as well as Ard. The two big forces are released and clashed each other, causing the fight ensued. Disaster Rogue attacks Ard and draws his sword. As it almost stabs Ard, Lydia's soul appears. Disaster Rogue questions Ard's thought once again if he has done the best and tells him to recall his past with Lydia. Ard then expresses his wish to save Lydia as he loves her. In the end, Ard wins and lands the final blow on Disaster Rogue, causing him to disappear. After that, Ard, Irina, and Ginny are surrounded with golden light. Lydia tells them they have accomplished the task and that they will return to the future. Before they disappear, Lydia asks them what the world in the future is like. Irina and Ginny then tell her that the world in the future turns like what she wishes for, and they disappear. On the other hand, Varvidos is informed that the demon army withdrew from the battle. 
He then orders his forces to stop assaulting as they have won. Lydia approaches him and tells him that Ard has returned home. The scene moves to Ard who meets the god again. God reveals that he is their allies and disappears. Back in their time, Ard, Irina, and Ginny awaken by Sylphie and Olivia. Irina conveys Lydia's message that she will always be his best friend. Ard feels Lydia's presence which makes him happy. And finally, the anime meets the end. Thank you for watching to the end. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to get more content from this channel. See you in the next video.